Why do Class D amplifiers have such tiny little transformers? Bobby in Tennessee is asking the question, and he said, I understand that large transformers are great, but why then does a Class D amplifier have such a small transformer? And, and Bobby's right. It's a great question. Usually, like, um, we have a product called Sprout. Sprout's one of our best-selling products. It's a little integrated amplifier. Um, and, well, here, I, I'll grab one. Just out of camera. I know, you're not supposed to do that, right? So here's, here's Sprout. This is our cool little... This one's on the repair bench, so I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but Sprout is this little integrated amplifier, and inside of it is a 100 watt per channel amplifier right there. That, that whole thing is a 100 watt per channel amplifier, and the transformer to that is probably this big. So in a conventional amplifier, the transformer would be this big. It'd be huge. And yet both of them put out 100 watts per channel. That's 200 watts. So the difference is in the power supply and the frequency that it uses. So everything that we deal with out of the wall is AC, right? Alternating current. It alternates up and down in a sine wave between plus and minus. Alternating plus and minus voltage, okay? And that's why it's called alternating current or AC. And the frequency that it alternates, moving from plus to minus, determines the size of the transformer. Coming out of our walls is 60 hertz in the United States, 50 hertz pretty much everywhere else. That means 50 times a second, it's going from plus to minus. In order to pass that kind of frequency, we need to have a big transformer because transformers are inductors, they're coils of wire, and they react to frequency. That's, we use them uh, as filters and things so that higher frequencies, um, they, they create more of this inductance, this resistance, and it's more sensitive to it. So how do we get the frequency up in a Class D amplifier? Well, we use what's called a switching power supply switch mode power supply, SMPS. And what we do is we take the 60 hertz incoming AC, we put it into uh, uh, an AC to DC converter, which is just nothing more than a, a diode bridge. It just separates out the plus is over here and the minus is over here. It's cheap, it's just a, this, this thing. And then we put a capacitor across that. Now we have a crude form of DC where it's got plus, and that's here, then here, but they're separated, right? Um, and then we use a chopping circuit to chop up that, a, that, that, that plus and that minus, and we do it really fast, a couple hundred thousand times a second. And that gets the frequency so high that we can pass the same amount of energy, this is this big transformer, through this little transformer and it's the frequency, this chopping up of, the, of the, the voltage out of the wall into a very small transformer and then into the rest of the circuitry. And that's called a switch mode power supply. It's called switch mode because we're switching um, back and forth very rapidly to get that frequency up. So there you go. Uh, I hope that answered your question. And uh, let's talk tomorrow. Okay.